Welcome back to 3D Copilot. Today I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create a simple Max script for 3ds Max 2023. This is the script we will create in this video. It can change the wire color of the selected objects or all objects in the scene randomly. Our script has two buttons. The first one is to change the wire color of selected objects. And the second one is to change the wire color of all objects in the scene. Now, let's go to ChatGPT. There are two tricks when working with ChatGPT that can give us better answers. The first one is to add a role for ChatGPT. In this case, I'm asking it to be an expert Max script programmer. And the second trick is to ask it to give confidence in its answer. In this way, it will give more precise answers. To have a button on the toolbar like this, we'll need a macro script. I will ask ChatGPT to create it for me. Let's copy the code to 3ds Max to see if it's working. Click on Evaluate All to run the script. There is no error in the listener window, meaning the code is working fine. I'm going to change the name of the macro. Then drag and drop the scripts button onto the toolbar. Now I will create the UI for the script. It's pretty simple, there are only two buttons. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create it for me. Let's hope it will work fine. Great! Now we have two buttons as we desired. I need to change the name of the buttons to be meaningful name. We need to find the code to change the wire color of the selected object. Let's ask ChatGPT. I'm asking it to turn the selected object red for testing first. Let's test the code with three selected objects to see if it's working. Cool. It's working as expected. There is one thing about ChatGPT you need to notice. It has a short memory. When your discussion with it getting longer, you have to repeat its role in the discussion, otherwise, it will forget and will give you less precise answers. I'm repeating its role. Next step, I'm asking ChatGPT to change the wire color of the selected objects randomly. Let's wait to see what it will be giving us. I saw an error in its code. But let's test it out. There is an error in the code. But you can actually ask ChatGPT to fix it for you. I'll copy the error messages for ChatGPT to check it. ChatGPT gave me the same error code. I guess I'll need to help it a bit. I'm helping it by asking a question that pointing where its code was wrong. After that, it give me back the correct code as I expected. Great! The first button has been working perfectly. This code works well. So I will teach this to ChatGPT. 
After that, I'll ask ChatGPT to do the same thing for all of the objects in the scene which is the function of button number 2. Our script now has been fully functional. Thanks, ChatGPT, I guess. There is another thing to be noticed, ChatGPT's knowledge cutoff date is September 2021, meaning it will not know everything beyond that time. I hope OpenAI will get it up to date soon. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.